The Minnesota Vikings were projected to finish dead last in the NFC North, but they come into this Sunday's game against the Packers with a 3-0 record. They're sitting in first place. They followed up an upset win over the 49ers with a blowout win over the Houston Texans. Is Minnesota due for a letdown? We're going to talk about it, but before we do, i got to tell you about a promotion we have available right now at wagertalk.com. For a limited time, you can get 90 days, all access, all sports at the regular price of $8.49, and we'll throw in 30 days absolutely free. Uh, This is the best time of year to take advantage of this offer because you'll get the rest of the college football and NFL football. You'll get the rest of the Major League Baseball. You'll also get the first half of NBA, college hoops, and NHL. And from guys like myself, you'll even get a few soccer and CFL plays. I do have a 4% CFL play going Friday night. Uh, This is available for any of your favorite handicappers at wagertalk.com. But if your favorite handicapper at wagertalk.com isn't this guy right here, you hit me up in the comments below and you tell me why. Uh, As always, there's no purchase necessary. The only thing I ask from you is that you take the time to smash that like button, and that will allow me to keep putting out these videos. Now let's get into it. Green Bay is a three-point favorite, and uh, at this point, it does look like situationally Minnesota should be due for a letdown. You're on the road in a rivalry game, but I'm not sure I want to step in front of this uh, Vikings team at the moment. I like the way Sam Darnold's playing. Uh, Green Bay may or may not have starting quarterback Jordan Love. He's supposed to be a game-time decision. We're kind of expecting Malik Willis to uh, be the quarterback for this game, and he's played well. Uh, Willis is thrown for 324 yards, two touchdowns, no picks on 74% passing. Um, in the event that Jordan Love does come back and he's he's banged up and this line goes up to three and a half, I'd probably really like the Vikings uh, at that point uh, because you know Malik Willis is playing well enough that I'm not sure that there's much of a drop off. And if, if you get that half point, you get the hook because uh, Jordan Love's coming back. I'd I'd lean towards Minnesota, but that's not the angle I'm going to look at in this game. I think the big storyline in this game is uh, former Green Bay running back Aaron Jones, who's been a big part of the 3-0 start for the Vikings, and uh, the new guy in town for Green Bay, Josh Jacobs. I think there's going to be a a big uh, rivalry between these two running backs. I think Aaron Jones is going to want to get some revenge on his former team, and uh, I'm looking at some prop bets. uh, Jones has run for 228 yards. That's an average of 76 yards per game. He's uh, he's caught a few passes for 97 receiving yards, an average of 32 yards per game, and his rush receiving yards total sits at 83 and a half. I like Aaron Jones at plus money to score a touchdown, and Aaron Jones over his 83 and a half rush receiving yards total. I think Aaron Jones is due for a big game in this rivalry game. Uh, If you like this video, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. If you got anything to say to me, even if it's nasty, hit me up in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.